So here it is, a small time racing camper. Some of the eagle eyes will notice it's a little bit on the nose upside. That'll be because I bought it without an engine. Just didn't have enough projects to do, so I thought, what the hell, I'll do another one. Welcome to my humble abode. Fixing the most important thing at the moment, the stereo. clean it's tall but exec just requires some extra power meaning an engine it was a diesel 2.5 i'm not sure what to put in it yet i have the original engine but it's a bit of a shitter and here we are the beginning of project camper engine replacement just picked up the Seat IB for my main man John. We've got TDI, six speed, 410 quid. All is good. The strip down will commence. So here she is, the mighty Talbot camper. Was 2.5 turbo diesel with a, a whole sort of 86 horsepower, 110 foot pounds of torque. Currently have an empty engine bay. I have got the engine, but because they won't pull the uh, skin off a custard, I've decided to upgrade it. So then I've purchased this, as you well know. See it, I'd be for PD-130. <clears throat> These currently have 130 horsepower. Um, planning on doing a remap to it to get it up to some 50s-ish if I can, maybe a little bit more. Uh, yeah, basically the plan is to use every single part of it that runs this car. It seems to drive real nice, the six speed. Um, yeah, not much else to say until I start getting into it and see where we go. So I'm going to start pulling some of the stuff today and see how I get on. Cool. So I started stripping it down. Air filter was all off. Loads of bits are disconnected. Found a couple of lines over here that were cut. These seem to be the vacuum ports from what I understand. I don't know enough about it, but I think that's something to do with the boost lines as well. Um, not a problem, I can re redo them. Um, you know, fuel tank's all out, water's all out, that's out. It'll still start, hopefully. Need to get a battery onto it. Need to pull the front off so I can get the rad out. Lights are already missing that side. Uh, Done, done all the wiring so everything all comes out now if he's loose ccu's here so i can get to that uh won't drop all the water yet because i still want to take the dash out before i stop it from running but i just thought the song was quite appropriate and listen to a bit of u40s you can possibly hear in the background it just happens to be there's a rat in the kitchen playing and as you can see here it would appear i've had a rat in me in me see it so yeah pretty fitting at the time but yeah, got to take all this off, get the front off, got the intercooler down here, it's got to come off. I probably won't use that, it's very small and I'm sure it's clogged with crap. Um, keep all the pipes going downwards. Uh, strange enough, it's like it's got some kind of air conditioning system on it, I think. So, yeah, I'll whip that off, I'm not going to use that. In actual fact, I'm freezing, so I'm definitely not going to use that. And yeah, that's pretty well it, I'll keep you posted. So I managed to get the whole front bumper off. Lo and behold, the only car on this planet that's still got the under tray under it was still bolted to the front bumper. Which as you can imagine, sort of minus two, minus three, was not the easiest to get under the car and work on. But nonetheless, got it done. Uh, don't want to drop the rad out yet in the front section, mainly because I still need to move this at this exact moment in time. Uh, I'm going to get going on the dashboard. I want to make sure that if I unplug that dash, this car still runs. Uh, that way make life a lot easier if I don't have to have the dash because it's just it really is nowhere to put it I don't really want to tuck it underneath my dashboard in the old camper so You know the best bet would be if I can disconnect that and all still runs and that's Christy Right I sit now 